All right, all right, guys. Philbuster here, episode 25 of my Total War Till Legendary Frankish campaign. We have, as you can see from the mini map, and just give you a quick overview here. I have a very large and consolidated kingdom right now, stretching pretty much all of northern Europe. Um, I will give you a quick diplomacy overview, and I have decent trade routes. I am at war with Spania. Not very threatening. Italia, not very threatening. The Marcomans, who have already taken their home province. The Ostrogoths, who are threatening, but they are very far away. They've got several stacks down here. I'm not sure what they're doing. The Picts, who I actually do not want to be at war with right now. But they will not make peace with me, apparently. And the Rusians who are up here, um, you know, being a wandering faction. So, uh, let's take a look at any sort of faction politics that we can do here. We've got a, not the best control ever, um, but we're getting there. You know, Trevor will play a bit with politics, so I don't, you know, a tactic you can do is just adopt, you know, popular general. But I don't like to do that. So, currently waiting for our son and heir to come of age. I do not have an heir declared, so um, you know, I'd have to rely on the good graces of Gisela, my wife, who's flirtatious. That's maybe why, I don't know. Maybe why I don't want to don't wanna do anything crazy with my King Thudomir until Helmo comes of age. He's only four or five years off there. Um, I do want to secure the... I can't secure the loyalty. Bummer. Uh, I can't secure his loyalty either. So i got to get some more... some better uh, influence for my general. So you can see I'm only... A couple provinces or regions away, because I've pushed far enough south. Um, so I do need to worry about defending. Perhaps maybe we can even venture into their territory and sack it. These Ostrogoths here have um, quite the military buildup to the south. Looks like they're trying to assassinate or persuade my priestess. I just want to use her as scout. I think we'll bring my spy back over. Because I will need to keep all the vision possible on these guys. I've got another spy down here who has found a Pictish army. Right. So I guess we just really start building up. Let's take a look at the public order. This could be solved somewhat. Need a well down here. Food is alright. My economy, you can see my economy is extremely strong right now. Which is good. But I do want to definitely increase the strength. I did have the idea to come up here, and the regions are still up here. I could come up here and start recolonizing. It might be worth it, especially for the gems. But I don't want to get too ahead of myself and stretch my lines too thin. Uh, what do we want for this one? Germanic paganism is pretty prevalent here. So maybe I can just go another town center. mine actually gives squalor now instead of I'm not sure if it was in this or it might still be in Charlemagne but lead would give you uh, what do you call it uh, sanitation okay I'm not sure what I want to do there I need to figure out how I'm going to prosecute my wars ah here we go 
So I'm gonna do put this rallying down. This is a safe auto resolves, just cookie cutter rebellion battle, so I don't wanna even fuck around with it. <coughs> On the move, lads! Ready for battle! So this, will make, this will give me a one turn buffer here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, colonize this to fill out the province. And this actually has me coming extremely close as well to the Ostrogoths, so I am encroaching further south. I think I am going to hold here. We're just going to train up several more units here so I can come up fight off this Rugian army that's just camping up here and then take over or uh, colonize all the way south that'll be kind of a large project I'm working on meanwhile hmm let's see Agrippina could probably build a chieftain's hold there I have some general all around public order issues so I'm really happy about that. Thirsty for battle. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? Might take my king south. Be able to get some influence Thirsty with them. So I don't want to I don't want to let my faction orders. politics getting out of hand here. I I've got a developed enough faction that um I need to really be careful about how my influence gets spread. Meaning I don't want rebellious all generals getting garrison. big thoughts in their mind. I want hourly patrols. Come fight for us, lads. So this is a pretty good army that can fight a pitched battle here. Can't really take any big settlements with it because I don't have siege equipment. And I only have four archers. But I will be able to take one of these armies out. For example, the commas, the comma, commenceness, whatever, comitas is what I call them. Comitas spears are pretty um, easy to flank around. So you just gotta do a standard uh, hammer and anvil. Kind of like Gaul do that. It's their own sphere of influence. <laughs> Gaul is just, I still can't get over how developed they are. Oh boy, sorry I'm uh, taking a while on this one. I think I just kind of want to save my gold a bit. Actually, you know what we're going to do. Oh, we got to keep them there. Alright. Got a governor here. So it looks like the picks are firmly established here in Spain and they might be a pretty big army to contend with. <coughs> And I really need to keep an eye out for these Huns. They're going to come out of nowhere. Oh, come on! Look. Longest agent action ever. What the hell? Oh. Wow. Definitely feel like the agents are leaving something to be desired sometimes when you gotta watch them like walk halfway across the map slow motion like, it seems like such a just bug you should have caught in development and done something about as creative assembly 
but you know, I'm not a game developer, so how the hell do I know? Ampsalona, looking like a uh, city I want to sack there. I like sacking those big provincial capitals with a lot of trade routes coming out of them. So I'm kind of betting big that Gaul doesn't just immediately backstab me here. I mean, we've been friends forever, so like literally since the fourth turn, around around 87, I think 90. Okay, so distracting and deceived. My agents are getting beat down. Ah, the Western Roman Empire finally bites the dust. It's we're very late. Um, Hersnia, rebellion imminent. No, I will definitely not be at war with Gaul in the next three turns. <laughs> Sorry. So here's best way up here. Yeah, we'll start at the top. Um, let's see actually if I can track them using diplomacy. This is kind of a cheap way to do it. Yes, they are up there. So I'll just head up there with this army and casually get rid of them. I'm trying to think if I feel like settling a region gives you a huge happiness buff, yeah. Gives you five. Ready for battle. So that now makes it positive. Ready for orders. Which is cool because I don't have to worry about a rebellion coming back there. Very nice. Let's hold off on this for now. Don't want to put too much money into random settlement settlements. Really want to consolidate, make sure that my safest settlements are built up the most. Ah, uh, the Huns, the Huns, the Huns, they gotta be down here somewhere. Let's see if we can't track those guys as well. Yeah, see they are actually right on my doorstep. This might be a sooner rather than later thing. I think it's saying that they're right in here actually scout them out. You have further orders? Yeah. Hmm. So that definitely might lead to some interesting decisions to make. I'm going to travel through the Vandal territory here. So I would like to get a Military access pack. We do have a non-aggression. They are at war with the Huns. I wonder if... I definitely don't want to do it, because I want to avoid war with the Huns, but... Let's see what they do. say. They join war against... The Huns. They still won't give me military access. Alright, well, guys, sad to say, but I could give a damn what you think. So we will run through regardless. Ah, the Western Roman Separatists. We will try to get access from them. Although, if we don't get it, I can't believe they're being considered the second strength ranking. Welcome, worthy guest. I trust you. Screw it. Can I even just invade down there? Try to scout down there, but I'm not sure I can even just like roll down here at all. Hmm. With my king, too, it's pretty risky. It's very risky, actually. What we're gonna do is we are going to 
modify the makeup of this army a bit. Just a little bit. We're gonna get this cavalry guard. Actually, we're gonna modify it just one more as well. Because this might be the start of my anti Hun stack. I could really take the war to the Huns. Which would mean that I would need some more cavalry up here as well. Got the upkeep to do it, so why not? Burst. So we've got good resources there. Where's that? Loop for them. This goes north. This is a pretty secure region. Got my home base here. Affect my public order a little bit, but that'll give me a si sizable income. Got plenty of food, no real need to invest in food. I think we just slow play this a little bit. But I think now I am going to start gearing up for war with the Huns. It's very unpredictable. I'm going to have a big enough kingdom that. If he started sack, like raiding my territories, you know, I'd give an inch, sure. Um, but suddenly he's in the middle of my territory, and he's got three armies there that I just kind of let let go, and you know, two armies, three armies on the way, and suddenly I've got five or six Hun stacks raiding my territory, draining 150 food, and I can't do anything about it. So I need to be strong at the start and just really engage them. Not sure what the Ostrogoths are doing here, whether it's another agent action or what. They've got plenty of shit though to move around. been fighting the Huns as well. I'm, I wonder if the Huns aren't just really weak. I'll have to check their strength ranking. Could be a very easy way to just get a bunch of diplomatic relations with everyone else. Hopefully I should be able to scout. Yeah, a little bit of movement. They are now in my territory. The dread of the steps. I cannot let that last. <coughs> oh, so the Rusians are very much still kicking. I should just not. Is there a way I can disable? Gaul has declared the war. Ultimate betrayal. Oh my god. We're gonna have to fight this on the battlefield. What a betrayal from Gaul. This is gonna be huge. God, and I don't think there's like any flipping way that I'm able to to beat this stack. It's I, mean, I do have several people. I'm definitely gonna cheese the hell out of this fight. Mounted artillery. Wow, I don't know that I've played. It just cracks me up here. This absolutely cracks me up. It's why bother with all of this fortification <laughs> right here if you're just gonna leave a perfectly open path into your base. It just, it, 
the design of this one is severely lacking, to say the least. Uh, but we do have artillery that we can put up, so we've got one there, and the other I think we gotta make over here. Don't know where that reinforcing army is coming from. Actually, I don't know if I want that barricade up. I think I actually want this one. Yeah, I think it's this one. In case that other army comes up here, they gotta funnel down this way or take the time to break that down. Okay, let's take a look at what our army is. We've got two general units. Generally, have to go too wide on spearmen here. I'm definitely not going to be able to defend the other tower. Just no way around it. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So we don't have much. Generally, only put one spearman over here, especially since it's a secondary attack point. And well, they can only get there if they just zoom around this way real quick. So I think we're good there. Which leaves a decent amount to play with. It's not insignificant. Okay, so we'll put our archers and whatnot up. God, I just do not understand this. I mean, would you not put like a little mini wall right there? That doesn't make much sense to me. They're gonna get up there too quickly. I can't even like put one guy down there. Regardless, um, we are going to put this here, and then kind of keep these guys over here. Maybe I'll no, keep them back here, so they're out of out of the catapult range. I'm not sure the length of those. Large onagers. Oh wow, so they can definitely. Wow, they can definitely reach up here. So we're gonna hold these guys back. And make sure that we have the easiest possible way to get out and around on these guys. get in right on these guys. Holy crap, look at this. So they're just casually letting me. and they're letting me destroy their large onager crews which is okay by me uh, the enemy reinforcements I have no idea where they're coming from just yet These guys should make quick work. Oh. Put these guys back in place. Oh, you better get there, buddy. Oh. 
really don't want to be wasting that ammo. For some reason, it's a bug to get them to, uh, oh. Onager cruise flea, which is awesome. Still, no idea. Ah, so they are coming up this way. Very nice. Do they have any? I'm not sure that they have any onagers up there. Which means that I just need to kind of get in here and take their slingers out. boost them around. Should be able to take these hurlers out a little bit easier. Alright, so their siege equipment is Dunzo. Skirmishers, horse archers. I don't try office, huh? <laughs> Get windows. shield wall function. It actually makes very little sense to me. As you can see we got some fighting going on in here. Spear to spear though. Not the most exciting. We should have some more cavalry units to work with. Those guys are even almost done. 
stagger here a bit. Actually start marching these guys down so there's no flank exposed. Get these guys coming up here, so them in position. So there should be a morale drop on the for the gulls here pretty soon because of the casualties being lost. Let's see what they're As you can see their morale in an easier I'm not sure I can, I don't know why it's not okay. Good. So they've got. So they're shooting stuff over, but it's not really getting my guys at all. I'd actually be getting their guys more than mine. Okay, so we've got this cheesiness going on. You could actually disengage in this game without worrying about all your guys dying. I'd definitely bring these guys back and soak the people through. And I tried that tactic out, but it does not work at all. <laughs> you end up losing like 40 dudes on the way out. Like there's no orderly way to just really, uh, really do it. You know, it's like you can counter charge with someone else and charge in and win that per win that second unit, like if I charge down with these guys, that second you want to hit, but when you disengage you still take unacceptable losses. Oh, and this is the AI right here. Look at this. Look at this. Let me add him. You guys are sitting up here. Just fighting. Could fast forward a bit more, I think. These guys can run up. Come on. These guys are shaking. Yeah, it's not worth watching that. Yeah, I should have saved all my ammo for this spot. Just guaranteed kill on every goddamn arrow. If I want to do a charge, I feel like the charge would be pretty game losing. Then again, I really just don't want to watch this for like 30 minutes. Can't believe the morale on these guys. Exhausted. And I feel like they're definitely getting more kills, and the whole time that this is happening, this watchtower is just, I'm sure, racking up quite a few kills. Ah, so they are starting to move people over. This guy's done with a single guy. Okay, so I think here's where I get ready. So I think they're going to try to push up. And I think charging in right here is going to be the way to go. guys are shaking. I could just like tell my guys to run down on the right flank, you know? Like, you know, if I target this guy right here, it's send it to the midpoint of the unit or something. Yeah, 
that's actually the play. So what I'm gonna do, leave, we'll leave our main king here. He's just got the ward for it. Actually, use that before we go. I'm gonna bring my, my general unit over here. We're gonna help these guys out. And suppose, or and hopefully, when we take that, we can start moving back around. We're actually going to use our archers as well. Probably should have done this a while ago. Because if we can start engaging these guys from the flank, I think there'll be a mass on route. Or route on mass. <laughs> Get on it. Moving fast. You better be. You better be, buddy. So we're basically going to charge in with Theodoma. Basically just throwing the numbers at him here. These guys really aren't doing shit, but just the mere fact of having all these people running down at you has got to be kind of a terrifying concept. We're actually going to try to push through their general unit. Presuming it doesn't make me lose too many. That actually make me lose too many here. surprise attack, the betrayal that they committed against me is going to be immediately rebuked, which I'm sure would just decimate the morale. Engage these guys from the rear. I cannot believe that 30 Komistas Spears are holding up everything. Come on. Kill these little fuckers. Go. Go. Point your own. Damn general unit. Act like one. selected there apparently. Okay, time is really not on our side then. Oh, maybe this ends up working out. Who knows? What the hell? So my position of immense strength is now gone.
might actually not be too bad because it's going to give me an easier way to flank. Or I should say a quicker way to flank. Presuming I'm able to hold out. Is exhausted. These guys are exhausted. Okay, stop running then. Stop running. We actually need to run. We definitely need to run. Go, 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 go. If we can start forcing this route, this is going to be a mass route for sure. Unless the hurlers are dead, so we'll be able to bring my archers in. Starting to run out here. Just snaking in. If I had one more unit, you know, I'd totally just bring them back around on this. Oh. Bring my archers over now. Myself here, they still could rally. Enemy units have returned to the battle. Nope. Warriors, the men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. Hmm. kind of separating them to here. I'm having a hard time following exactly what's going on. Just the best news ever right there. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Victory. What a battle. Let's get some of these, get some of these guys here. For archers. Maybe we get a melee upgrade for our archers after all this fighting. And battle. Pyrrhic victory, but a very well fought victory. And look at this three times the losses. They deployed twice the number and lost three times as many. That's just demoralizing. Yeah, get fucked. You guys don't even know what you're doing. It's a thousand gold or sixteen. A thousand gold is a shitload of gold. Wonder if they had another attack in mind. If those are oh yeah, they're gonna try to go for Flavum, aren't they? Well, 
Look at these little fuckers. Jesus, that is a pathetic garrison. They're all ships, though. Good lord. Alright, so we're going to stop this here. And pick up on our massive war that just started against Gaul in the next episode. Hope you guys had fun watching. I love it when these things happen. Just catch you out off guard so you have to adapt. Um, so we'll pick up that adapting next episode and go from there. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you all next time.